Okay, welcome back, people. Um, doing an update video on what I'm doing. And here it is, one of the things I'm working on currently. There's a pair of hummingbird earrings. It does have 19 colors, and it does have the 13 Charlotte cut, as well as the 15s in there as well. More in the purples and that hot pink in there. Come on, focus. It did take me two days to do this. The other side's almost done, but yeah. I did give me my new desk. Actually, a new tabletop, I should say. It's solid. It's a butcher block top I got from Home Depot. It was on sale. Why not? It was like $100. I had to stain myself, which I went with the natural stain. Used um, tongue oil to stain it all down, sand it, make sure it's nice and smooth. And I did go over with a polyurethane spray. I did four coats and got nice and smooth. So it feels good to my hand. It looks nice. It gives me a better background than the other wooden door. And this is about six feet, two inches long. So it does get how many with my videos. So it does give me a nice, cool background to look at. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's an upgrade. I like it. As well as these jars, as I was showing you. I did do the jars. I did do the wall. As ooh, we will see. The wall is full. <laughs> to say the least, the wall is quite full. I mean, it has beads in every single jar. There's 125 jars. Not currently right now because I'm using some beads on the, my table. But it's kind of color coordinated a little bit to... For me to see all my beads and know what colors I have. Even these top beads up here have colors. The light does take away from it. Showing the art of glare on it. But there's beads in them as well. It's a sight to behold. I mean, Every row has 21 jars and there's one two three four five rows of 21 jars so 104 on one shelf plus those extra on top and i do have extra beads two of my jars broke during my process of installing this tabletop you can see here and it's gory there's still junk on it but installing that i did have to lift my wall up there a little higher and my whole beads fell, and I broke two of the jars that were holding my beads. So sad, but I had to get more jars. Either way, I did that to order five, or two, two twenty-four things of jars, and then there are two twenty-four to fill the bottom in, or kind of bottom. Now to get, I got one more twenty-four. I was hoping that would be it. But, yeah, I still have jar, I still have beads, quite a bit of beads that need to go in <laughs> jars, because these beads aren't on my shelf. There's some odd pinks, odd purples, greens in there as well, I still need to add to the wall. So then I have a full sense of color, then once I get everything on the wall, and I feel like I need some beads filled, like these ones here. Especially up on top, those ones need to be refilled. To have at least four hangs of beads, just so it fills nicely, so it looks like this. Just have five, um, I think five hanks of beads. I do have two more coming in. This is called Cornflower Blue. It looked blue here, but actually... When I hold it in my hand, it's more of a purple color. So I need to work on that. But anyway, that was kind of the update of my setup here. So this is how I bead. When I'm doing live on TikTok. Actually from here. So I can see my camera and do everything else and stuff. So there's my fancy dancy jig. <laughs> my buckskin. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. My microphone. And hopefully, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to rebuild this to accommodate more jars. So thank you guys for watching and you guys have a good rest of your day.
Bye.